All right, people. I believe everybody is doing great, nice, and absolutely fine. Now, see, do you guys know physics becomes the deciding subject when it comes to the NEET? Because maximum number of students are able to do questions when it comes to the biology. Maximum number of students are able to do chemistry also. But when it comes to the physics, people lag over there. They are not able to solve problems when it comes to the physics. So in this particular video, we will be exactly talking about, we say 90 days physics strategy. We say killer strategy. This will definitely help you. If you are stuck at 60 marks, it will help you to score, we say 160 plus. Okay, and this is the first category. The next category is who haven't started yet, but they want to boost their percentage. They want to boost their score in physics because till now, some people say I was busy with the biology. I was busy with the organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry. Okay, now, sir, I have to start the physics. I have to get the good score. So this physics becomes the deciding subject because of the, these reasons. And this will help you to enter the medical college because if you are good at chemistry and biology, definitely that will help you. But what helps more in order to enter the medical colleges, we say physics. That's why these 90 days are very crucial. So now score as much as possible when it comes to the physics, okay? If you are stuck at 60 marks, I'll help you to score 160 plus, okay? And if you are basically at zero right now, at least I'll help you score, we say 130 plus or we say 120 plus, some, something like that also, okay? Now listen to me very carefully. The first thing is, is it possible if I start right now, okay? Some people say, sir, if I start right now preparing for the physics, can I get 160 plus? Or if I'm stuck at 60, can I get 160 plus? I say yes. What is the first thing that you people are supposed to do is, first of all, we say you have to categorize, you have to see the weightage of every chapter before starting, okay? Like I have put up the uh, sheet over here, I have put up the image over here, you can check the percentage or, or I have told you before also the number of questions coming from every chapter or Vaseem sir also has told you uh, in the strategy videos. So you can basically check it over here which chapter has which percentage. So you have to pick up those chapters which are having the high weightage okay. So once you are done with that in that list you'll make a list of high weightage chapters first. Then you have to see which one are finished and which one are unfinished means which one you are already done with and which one you are not done yet, okay? So once you do that, then you have to basically identify what you are supposed to identify over here. We say you have to select in that particular list those chapters in which lectures are required, in which one shots are required, marathons are required in order to complete those chapters. And then comes to those chapters in that particular list in which only self-study is required that you'll be uh, studying at your home and completing those chapters by yourself only. And those chapters also in which uh, lectures are required, there is a teacher is required. So you'll be categorizing accordingly. Now, then we have the 90 days approximately, I say over here. So first 45 days, you have to finish those unfinished chapters, okay? Make sure you finish those unfinished chapters in 45 days. Now, some people say, because there is the other category over here also, who say, sir, we have to start from the basics. We, have, we haven't started any chapter yet. We haven't started physics. Then you can basically take the 40, take 15 days from this one and put it over here. You can make it 60 days. So in first 60 days, you have to complete the unfinished chapters. And then we say in rest of the days, you have to basically do the revisions and tests because the revision and tests are very important. If you revise, because at the end moment, the chapters which you have uh, done the revision very effectively, those chapters will only help you to gain marks. Those chapters will help you to score marks in the examination hall. And, and tests very important because if you do not give the tests over there in the examination hall, you will definitely lag. That's 100% sure. Okay. So we say if you can finish those unfinished chapters in 45 days, then rest of the 45 days will be giving the tests and the revision, okay? And if you cannot do that, then give 15 days more to these and then rest of the chapters, you uh, then uh, rest, revision and test you can do in 30 days, okay? Now listen to me very carefully. We say the time distribution. If we talk about the time distribution, let's suppose there are some chapters that you finish. Those take, let's suppose if I talk about the optics, let's suppose it will take you five days to complete, okay? Because optics is a big chapter, electrostatics, current electricity. So let's suppose if it takes you five chapters to complete. And similarly, if you have Newton's laws of motion, it takes you one day to complete. 
complete. So you have to organize, you have to select these chapters in such a way, you have to complete these chapters in such a way so that you finish these within a given time frame. What is the time frame like 45 days or 60 days? Okay, accordingly, it completely depends upon you. I cannot tell you in this particular video, you have to use this much of time to this chapter, this much of time to this chapter. It depends if you can finish particular chapter in let's suppose x days you have to finish the other chapters within a given time frame only okay so that you finish those in 45 days then move on to the revisions and the tests this is very important that's what we call the time distribution because this is the effective plan if you do not make the effective plan if you go in a random way then definitely that will you you won't be able to stick to that particular plan and that will basically cre create chaos now listen to me very carefully the first thing we need to focus over here is what are the sources with which you can complete these chapters. Is there any source that we have over here? We say, we say, we have uh, taught the marathons on Unacademy Neat English on this particular channel. If you go to the playlist over there, you can watch my playlist for physics, okay? Kalasar's uh, videos for playlist, uh, Kalasar's videos for physics. So in that playlist, every chapter has been taught from the basics, okay? Every problem pattern I have shown you over there, you can watch those lectures and most importantly, I have covered all those we say uh, high weighted chapters first so that it will help you to enter the safe score. So marathons over there, do not go with the detailed lectures right now. I'll say well, lecture one, lecture two, lecture three. No, you have to start with the marathons only, okay? And those marathons are available on the Unacademy Meet English. My marathons, you can go into the playlist section and over there you can watch my marathons. Every marathon is given over there. All the questions, all the concepts have been discussed in those marathons, okay? Now the point is, what do you need to do in this? And what do you need to do in this once you basically learn from the marathons? The first thing is basically you have to make the notes, marathon notes, okay? That is self-made. It is not like I'm sharing the PDF in the WhatsApp groups. I have not shared for some of the chapters as of now, but I'll share it, that's for sure. So we say you have to make the notes on your own, okay? Sir, will the teacher's notes help me at the end of the day once I, I'll do the revision? We say no. It is only the self-made notes which helps you to revise quickly the particular chapter even you can revise a chapter within just 10 minutes by using only self notes not with the teacher's notes or your friends or anything else okay and then we say at least you have to do the three minimum revisions when it comes to the physics the more you practice the more it will help you over there in the examination hall that's why we say over here we say over here revision has to be done at least three times minimum okay then how many questions we are supposed to do in every single chapter sir we say at least 100 plus questions you are supposed to do in every single chapter sir what type of questions we are supposed to do we say first of all you have to do all the questions which are mentioned in the ncrt highly mandatory highly recommended okay whether it be the in-text questions whether it be the solved examples or the exercise questions okay all those questions you have to do over here sir do we have to read ncrt line by line when it comes to physics i say not mandatory but solo every single question which is mentioned in the NCRT and all the previous year questions you have to solo, okay? For past 10 years you can go, that is enough, that's more than sufficient, okay? And, and afterwards we say you have to give the chapter wise test. Sir, will you help us in the chapter wise tests also? Where can we give these chapter wise tests? We say I have personally launched the combat test series. That is completely free for physics, okay? The link of that series in the description below. Join it, enroll it. Every single Sundays I put up a paper over there. And I know teachers have the experience what pattern of questions can come in your exam. So accordingly, we make the paper, okay? So you can basically enroll in this combat test series by me, okay? That is free, completely free. You don't have to pay any sort of money in this one. So join it as soon as possible. And, and most importantly, when it comes to the last 30 days, my dear friends in last 30 days you have to do the minimum three full syllabus revisions this is very much mandatory okay last days i told you last 30 days and we say mock tests as many as possible as i have given you the link join it as soon as possible because mock tests will only help you to increase your progress you would be able to see that whether i am going up or the graph is going down so that's why mock tests are very much mandatory. So thank you so much. This was all about it. I hope you liked the video. This was to the point. This was based on the analysis. Follow this plan. Definitely it will help you. If you have not started yet, start it right away because there are so many students 
who have changed the game at the end moment you can be the one okay in the next upcoming need that is need 2024 so do it start the preparation right away if you have any sort of doubt or in anything you can definitely put up in the comments and i want to see you get your comments in down below so everybody so thank you so much this was all about it thank you so much take care and bye bye